Hey, what's happening, guys? PJ is here, and this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can add an advanced menu or a new menu in your settings. So, this is the advanced section in your settings you can easily make by using this tutorial. So, first, we have your decompile our settings where you decompile your folder requirements are same as in previous videos. So, here's my decompile settings. Now, you have to open the rest folder and uh, open the XML and find the dashboard categories. So here's the dashboard categories open it with notepad plus plus now you have to add a new category or add a new tile you can check my previous videos to add a guide or add a tile or a add a new category so here's the code so first we have to, I'm gonna add a tile named advanced tile for my settings so I have to add a code I have to also mention in the strings also and this is the new one the Android fragments and this is the thing that with the Java folder is made we can discuss it later so after it's saving it now add a new XML where uh, like I already made a parse settings so this is the layout when I click on my advanced tab and the, this layout will open. Now you have to create a new layout here. So I am going to create a fully new layout. So I am using some tiles and screens or some using header. So I already made one. using expose installer gravity box in my advanced menu so that we see on the startup the advanced menu this is the code of that advanced menu I'm, I'm adding apps styles if you don't know how to add apps you can check out my previous guides or recent videos so here we all done almost so this is my last code you can also join our official Facebook group, group from the description for the further updates on the guides. And please press the subscribe button for more guides and support me. So here we all done. Now save it. Now compile your uh, settings. If you're getting errors, you have to solve it your own. So, let's I compiled my settings. Now wait till the compiler is complete. Now again decompile it, with which you create a new one, and go to the values and the public. In public, where you generate a new XML, there is also generate a new ID. So this is my para settings. So this I have to find the ID of this. So this is my ID and I have to copy that ID in line third 931. I have to scroll scroll through the 931 line and copy the ID. After copying the ID, we have to make a new Java method for creating a smiley file for our uh, new menu or new layout. So this is my code or my public ID to assess my XML. So I have to copy it. Now we have to create a new Java method. So for this we have to create a new folder in the go to Smiley.com Android settings. 
and you have to made a new folder make sure the you, folder you are making you already mentioned in the dashboard categories in android fragments you can also check the written guide here from the description link if you can't understand this so here we have to create a new java method like I already created one you have to open a new file and create a new java method and save it with .smally so this is the java method you have to create by your own you can also see the description I attached a image so you can easily copy the image code and start coding like that so I'm going to do it fast where I'm using my name you have to change it to your name or you can you have you just have to learn the logic that's what I'm doing and make sure this guide is also on uh, this guide only working on lollipop base home and marshmallow base homes don't try it on kitkat rooms because they have a different java method Uh, now we have to add that ID the Java method I am creating that already mentioned in other knowledge files so you don't have to worry you just have to now here we have to paste the code of the new XML file that we already created so we can assess when you click on advanced tile the layout will open that we created recently with this help of uh, public id so we have to mention that public id so so there is the java method is created now save it after saving it just uh, save all your files save all your xms and now click on the compile now compile it if you get a success well you, then you rock man so after compiling you will get the better results if you getting errors you can post the uh, post in the comments below thanks for watching guys so here's my result this is my java method and this is my created advanced style thanks for watching